In order to manage and organize the thousands of parametric parts and 3D fittings that Practicam offers, it is important to know how to create a fitting or part bin. Bins can actually be created for fittings, parts, edges, catalog items, architectural items, or wall paneling. Virtually everything in Practicam can be placed in a bin for easy access later on. To learn how to organize our bins, we must first open up My Libraries and then click Fittings. This is where we will show you how to organize fittings into bins. There are two parts to fitting libraries, fitting bins and fitting locator. We will focus on the screen for fitting bins. You will notice four quadrants here. The first one on the top left shows you all of your available fittings. There are over 2,500 fittings inside Practicam, all which reside here, and none of them can be deleted by the user. This means you do not have to worry if you make a mistake while creating a bin. Shuffling through them is as easy as opening up the menus and selecting the bins you'd like. The second quadrant is the top right. This is where you will show all of the bins that you have created yourself. The bottom left is where all fittings go when you click Save to Custom, also known as your custom folder. For example, we will go inside a takeoff field. As you look at the bottom right of your takeoff field, you will see a little button that says Save to Custom. If you modify this fitting and want to save it, by pressing this button it will show you that it is going straight to your custom folder and then it will tell you after you save it that it has been successfully saved. Practicam has now taken this fitting and saved it in your custom folder right here. The last quadrant on the bottom right shows you a small view of your desktop. Here we can mix and match fittings as we choose. Now you can see that we can take one fitting at a time and drag it over to either the top right or bottom right hand sides of the screen and it will create a fitting bin automatically for us. After you've created one you can label it whatever you like. Here we will label this my bin. You can also right click on the screen and select create a new bin or select the create a new fitting icon on the top of the toolbar. It will all do the same thing. If you would like to delete a bin all you have to do is highlight the one you would like to delete and then click the red X. Practicam will delete it for you. You can also right click and press delete the selected bin. Now you have seen us drag one fitting over but we can also drag an entire library or an entire section over. These fittings can be dragged and dropped on the top right quadrant or the bottom right quadrant. However you will notice that if you drop them in the top right section they will lay horizontal and if you drop them in the bottom right of the screen they will start out vertical. This is a quick shortcut to arrange fittings in the proper manner. Now you can drag fittings from one bin to another just by clicking on a fitting and holding the mouse down and dropping it onto another fitting. This will work for fittings inside the custom folder as well. If you would like to delete an icon, all you need to do is drag it into the empty space and then release and it will delete a fitting from your library. If you'd like to delete an entire bin, once again you click on the entire bin click on the delete key and it'll delete the entire bin as well. Now we need to place the bin in the proper place. You will notice two icons above the bin here. The first one on the top left is dock. This allows you to dock or undock the fitting from a given wall. If the lock is open and we click on the takeoff screen you will see a bar just floating in mid space which can only be opened by clicking on a little button that will say hide or show. If we go back into our fittings and we would like to dock it to a wall, all you have to do is click on the dock button and it will dock it to the immediate wall. Now we can move it freely about the wall if we like. Now if you look at your takeoff screen, you will see the bin docked to the top of the wall as we have here. Now to activate, all we have to do is move our cursor over the bin and it will automatically open and when our mouse moves off the bin, it will automatically shut. The next thing you might want to do is select which wall you would like to dock to. Here we must use the change alignment key you see here. If we hold this key down with the left mouse button and we move our mouse around, you will see as it changes from the left to the bottom to the right wall. If we would like to dock it to the left wall, all we do is release our mouse click and it will automatically take that fitting bin and move it to the left wall. Here we will now move it right back to the right wall. Once again, if we go to our takeoff screen, we will see the custom bin residing right here in the right wall, ready for activation. The last thing we might want to do inside the fitting bin section is to give the fittings or the bar a specific color. In order to change the color of the bar, all I have to do is highlight the bin in the top right quadrant and then click the color palette in our toolbar. 
I select the color I want and Practicam will change it. If I would like to change the color of the fitting icons themselves, then I have to select the fittings in the top left quadrant, then select the tool palette. Here once we give it a color, Practicam will change only the color of the fitting icons themselves. Here we will give the fittings a different color than the bar itself. Once you have all your bins custom to your liking, finding and retrieving fittings is easier than ever. You will notice that parts also work identical to fittings, so you have already now learned how to manage both sections.